The physical movement of objects is commonly simulated in video games through physics engines. While these simulations render movement of objects, they generally do not account for the auditory qualities of the interactions between objects. This means that all physical events within this dynamic environment must be represented by a finite amount of sound effects. There are several approaches to physical modeling of sound, but the method known as modal synthesis is regarded as the one that is computationally most efficient. Modal synthesis works by identifying the most prominent frequencies in a sound of some material being interacted with. The main frequency components are known as the modes of the sound. By using mathematical representations of spring mass oscillators set to these modal frequencies, it is possible for a computer to synthesize the sound of the real material when given an excitation. The excitation is based on the physical behavior of the surface deformations that occur in the material surface when struck by another object. Using this approach to render audio for physical events, a toolbox for the Unity game engine was designed and implemented. Sound spectra of objects being impacted were analyzed in order to create a range of presets for different materials. To test this toolbox's usefulness to developers and the quality of the synthesized sounds, three tests were conducted. A perceptual test, a usability test, and a performance test. The result of the three tests indicated, firstly, that the toolbox was easy to use for developers, who were largely able to understand how to use it within a 20-minute time frame. Secondly, the sounds created by the implemented sound synthesis methods revealed a higher perceived quality of sound when using a spring mass algorithm compared to a banded waveguide algorithm. Thirdly, the two different synthesis techniques communicated different sounds with differently perceived overall levels of realism. Some sounds proved more easily identifiable with one technique, where others were more identifiable with the other. Fourth, in terms of performance, it is clear that the overall frame rate drops when several impacts are modeled at the same time. To fix this, the algorithm could include a measure of available CPU power at any given time and attenuate the number of modes that are modeled for each impact according to this measure. This would, according to previous research done within this field, lead to much better performance.